All right, welcome everyone to your deal reveal. Thank you for the loyal ones who keep coming back for more and welcome to the newcomers who are here for the very first time. And for those of you who are here today, you are you are in for a treat. Wow, especially if you weren't part of last weekend's epic bus tour here in Florida. I'm going to show, share with you this evening some sneak peeks that there are some deals left in Florida. We just have to approach it a little bit differently. And so let us get started. Today, we have a property that was submitted in by Mark, and he is looking at a property in Florida, a little bit more expensive than what you are probably used to on these deal reveals when we compare to our Cleveland or Midwest properties. But that doesn't mean that they don't have any juice left in them. Like I said, we're just gonna have to approach it a little bit differently. And so here we go. Who do we have on the call today? Ah, uh, yes, wonderful. We even had some people who were part of the bus tour. Nice to have you here, Julio. So feel free to comment as we go through to add what you might have learned and your biggest takeaways from the epic bus tour. It's nice to see everyone else on the call as well. So let's jump right in. I am excited because even though we're looking at some Florida deals, we are going to analyze them quickly. We're going to show, we're going to see that numbers can be four times better than in Canada, even in a Florida, hot Florida, expensive market. Look at the price point on this property. 670,000 USD dollars is the price point for this single family home. And as I said, we're going to look into it. And you are going to tell me if this is a deal or no deal. So let's get started with our very basics. So again, we have a single family home for $670,000. By the way, this is a property for sale right now. So if after the deal reveal, you are interested to learn more about it, put in an offer, we have now established some uh, pathways for you to go get your first or your next investment cash flow US property. Okay, so here we go. First thing, as always, we are going to go get, and I, I may phase this out of our deal reveal process when we look at Florida properties, but you'll want to see what the neighborhood looks like, right? Make sure the crime is where you need it. But when in the next following weeks, I'm going to be featuring more and more Florida properties, and these are properties in gated communities. And so um, the crime, we're really not expecting anything wonky happening. So we have this nice, beautiful property here, uh, six bedrooms, six bath. And as you can see here, let's go take a look at the crime. And there we have it. Yeah, truly had a little bit of a glitch this morning. It's really slow. Um, but let's give it a second more. Nah, it doesn't like it. So on this, you see that there's a little bit of crime happening right here. But in general, generally speaking, there's no crime um, in comparison to the rest of Florida and the rest of the US. So very safe neighborhoods or gated communities, et cetera, et cetera. And you're gonna see why um, there's very little crime in just a few seconds. So the next thing to go is this is a residential property. And so we wanna know what the value of this property is. Now, again, <clears throat> this is a property that <laughs> is for sale. And in these gated communities, the product is very, very similar. You walk down, I'm actually in one of these properties right now, not too far from this one, actually. Um, these are cookie cutters. These are properties that were built only a few years ago. And so the price that you pay is pretty much the price that it's worth. So here's the estimate has it right on the dot at 670,000. That's what it's worth. Um, and so long as you're not completely out of whack on the purchase price and its value, you know, that's kind of where we're going. If you can get a discount, if you can source these deals off market, good, excellent for you. It's going to take a little bit more playing the numbers game, but ultimately uh, the one that we're closing on is a couple thousand below market value. And that's, that's a win in these markets. We're not so much buying for the discount at purchase in these, in these markets, we're buying the cash flow and we're buying the appreciation potential. And so 
So we're looking like we're right on par here. This estimate and the purchase price is exactly where it needs to be. You can look at some comparables as well by uh, playing around in uh, Zillow here. We have the range. It's a fairly tight range for the price, a steady growth. In fact, uh, exponential growth. These, these communities have been increasing by 10, 15, 20% per year. And it's been remarkable, the appreciation that we've been seeing. Again, we don't buy for appreciation, but it's always nice. And so we factor that in. Okay, so we're buying full price. Uh, crime is good. Next is, is there any cash flow, right? And so normally we'd go to rental meter, right? And we'd plop in the address here. We'd say it's a six bedroom, it's a six bath, and uh, analyze and off we go. And I'm actually out of my free versions. You'd realize that this property would be long-term rented for about three and a half, four thousand a month. And with those numbers, there's simply no cash flow, not with a mortgage that high, right? Look at it. And to prove it really quickly, right, the 1% rule, let's say it's even at 4,000 a month. All right, 4,000 a month divided by, oh, boy, I have too many zeros going on. 4,000 divided by the purchase price, which is 770, right? Uh, 670, apologies. Let's go back here. Divided by 670. We are under the 1% rule, right? We are at 0.6%, okay? And so there's no cash, right? That's what it means, right? You, yeah, you barely, you, you have to be above the 1%. Um, and some markets can support much higher than this. So this is not, you probably guessed it, a long-term rental opportunity. We are in Florida. We are in a, a gated community in proximity to Disney, all right? And so this is a short-term rental opportunity. This is an Airbnb, VRBO, booking.com, et cetera, short-term rental opportunity. And so we're not gonna go to rental meter. It gives us you know, a stress test. A scenario, uh, if you've something to fall back on, but we're going to do quite the opposite of that. So the equivalent for rental meter in the short term rental investment space is airdna.co. All right. And we pay for these softwares, not the cheapest thing, but we pay for it. And we can put in a property, property's address, just like we do for rental meter. And we basically make sure that we have the good specs right it's saying it's a two bedroom no this is a six bedroom it's a six bathroom and i can sleep 14 people right two per bed plus a pull-out couch 14 people and then we are going to pull the comps from the short-term rental market the airbnbs the vrbos and so forth and so we see here that this property properties comparable to this property book over $350 a night, 63% occupancy rate, and an annual revenue of $86,000 a year. Now, it's a little bit higher than your long-term rental, even at 4,000 a month times 12, that's 48. Here we have 86, we're basically doubling it. But what I really want to uh, hammer home is that this is an average of all the six bedrooms, six baths properties in this area, okay? This is an average. If you just buy any property and do what everyone else is doing, you're likely going to be around these numbers, average. But if you give an exceptional product and you offer your guests an experience that they'll never forget, and if you have a professional management company that knows how to optimize and tweak and really go get those five-star reviews, those recurring bookings and so forth, you are going to perform at the top end of the market. And it could be significantly higher than this. But I'm gonna tell you, go into this with the expectation to go top of the market and use this number as your baseline, right? If you end up being average, I think you failed, but let's say you use this as your baseline revenue, right? You better not do less than this, especially the way we're gonna show you how to do it. Um, you're, you're going to do a lot more. But let's just use this as a conservative estimate to run our numbers. So let's talk a little bit about the numbers. This is the income. What about the expenses? Now, the expenses 
I'm not going to use a 50% rule um, with short-term rentals because it's actually um, pretty easy to run the numbers, to go through Summit on these things and, and just have it be rinse and repeat. So I actually did prepare a little bit here. So the income, how do you find the income? You go to AirDNA or you send us an email and we've paid for these reports and this data. And so we can help you in your due diligence process to figure out what the income you can expect on these properties, okay? So for this, we're gonna run it with an $86,000 annual income. What about the expenses, All right? The expenses, these you can pretty much take to the bank and I tried to be conservative across the board. So we have our summit, which outlines the category of expenses of a rental real estate property. So we start with stuff, right? The things that vary depending on your conservativeness level and the fact that you might be in a gated community versus just a regular condo versus a townhouse versus whatever. So in these gated new build communities, we have the CDDs, uh, which is basically those startup fees for new communities, right? The community uh, development, um, district development. Um, so that's a couple thousand dollars a year. Then you have the HOAs because they handle sometimes garbage collections or they have a community pool and spa and lazy river and a volleyball course and golf courses and all that fun, those fun amenities that come with a gated community. So normally this is about six, 7,000, but I rounded it up to 10 to be conservative. Um, utilities, seeing that this is a short-term rental property, you don't have long-term tenants paying for your, your, your electric, the AC bill, the water bills and so forth. So being short-term, that's gonna be on you to pay. And so I have a $5,000 budget um, for this single family home in place. Maintenance, now we are buying brand, bare, basically new properties. So we're not expecting much maintenance, but, these are big properties, so there's more that can go wrong, and to not put any maintenance budget, I think, is a mistake. So $100, $200 a month on average, eventually, eventually, you'll have to do the major repairs. We're still factoring our capital expenditures, those big roof replacements and so forth, but we're at the beginning, and so we're not expecting to have those big ticket items early on, but nonetheless, account for it because it is still a bigger property. Um, that will have bigger costs when you do change the things. So, you know, one to 3,000, I put three, you know, to, to lace the, bu the budget a little bit. Your mortgage, if you have a mortgage, you can buy this thing cash and we can see what the numbers look like, but this is a big mortgage, right? If you're buying a property for 700,000, right? You might have a mortgage for 600,000. Let's put 5% to be conservative in there. So $3,000 a month mortgage is what you have going on here. But the interest rate is actually lower than what you might have in the Midwest on those low value properties. So you're paying down your principal even faster, which is another advantage. You're building equity fast. Management, there's management from 15%, the bare minimum 15%, all the way up to 55% management fees that I've seen, right? We're gonna put in a 20% because it's a reasonable amount to pay for an excellent quality of management. Insurance, 3,000 a year, taxes, 8,000 a year. So add everything up and you have these type of expenses. And regardless of the property that we're, what we look at in these gated communities, we look at a lot of the same. The HOAs are the same, regardless of the size of the property. Utilities are very similar. Maintenance is very similar. Mortgage, surprising, is very similar. Between a 700,000 uh, 700, and 600,000, there's not much difference in the mortgage payment when you're looking at the large scope of these numbers here. Management. 20% of the income that gets generated. Insurance is pretty much the same. Tax is pretty much the same. And so these numbers here are robust. So if you add them all up, we get 29,000 a year. The mortgage, if you have a mortgage, 36,000. And then 20%, that's the management fee of the income that, it gets, that gets generated. So in our baseline example here, where we said that the property generates 86,000 a year. What would it look like, all right? What would it look like? Well, I have 29,000 of expenses, operating expenses. I have a mortgage for 36,000 payments a year, plus I'm gonna go in and get 20% of uh, that 86,000. So my total income 
uh, expenses for the year is 82,000. The total income is 86,000, right? So 86,000 minus 82,000 gives me $4,000 a year in pure cash flow after all expenses, including the mortgage. Now you can say that's 4,000, not very much because it's 4,000, um, which basically comes out to $333 a month in cash flow, okay? What I wanna say, and this is the important part of this, of this deal reveal, is that I use the baseline uh, income. I used average. I highly recommend you don't go into this market to be average. There are tens of thousands of short-term rental listings. Do not just become one of the many. We need to stand out. And when we do stand out, that 86,000 can become 100,000, can become 120,000, can become 150,000. There are properties in this market that are generating multiple hundreds of thousands of dollars with the same caliber of property that I just showed you right here. So if we're able to give a product that's above and beyond, I think our target should be $150,000 a year. Now, I just showed you here that the expenses are pretty much the same. Whether you make 80,000 or 150,000, your expenses are pretty much the same, except for the little bit of management difference. But the more you make, the more you're happy to pay. You're still keeping 80% of all that gain, right? So this was 86,000. Imagine if your property was making 150,000, that would add $70,000 minus management. So $60,000 of cash flow after all expenses, inclu including management, contingencies, and mortgage. Imagine making $60,000 cash flow on a property every single year. 60,000, that's $5,000 a month, USD dollars, okay? So, is this a deal or no deal? based on what we've seen here today. Let me know what $5,000 after all expenses cash flow excites you, change anything to the way you live. And you're paying a good amount to your managers to do this professionally, hands off. Shirag says, this is a deal, fantastic. Anybody else think that this might be a good idea? Lori, 100% deal, I love it. For those of you who were on the bus tour this weekend, you got to see uh, a handful of these properties generating $150,000 a year. And we showed you basically how we're gonna help you achieve this. With our big reveal that we are now able to use RRSPs and TFSAs to finance these properties either in full or at the very least the down payment without any tax implications, tax penalties, Wow, this is next level. We've been working on that this for years, putting the pieces together to put it all together for you and offer a turnkey opportunity, value add cash flowing opportunity in sunny state of Florida. So this is super exciting for you. It's super exciting for us. We are all going to bring it to the next level. Yes, Julio, you're absolutely right that keeping it average is not a good deal, right? There's, these are big numbers. You do have a cash down. So um, for $300 a month, I don't think it's worth it. But bring it to the next level and really see the opportunity come out. So Shirag, yes, you missed the bus tour, but you need to know about these opportunities. That's why we do these deal reveals for you. So um, I definitely think there's an, a huge opportunity here. I'm going to use the next couple of minutes. For those of you who, are, who were on the bus tour, um, I'm going to go through the presentation quickly of what I went through the bus tour that shows a key component to this equation, which is the management and how JK is actually um, your solution to that piece of the equation. And we're very excited for it. So at this point, if you want, for those of you who were on the bus tour, if you want to leave, go right ahead. For those of you who want to learn more, well, hold on to your hats because here we go. Um, we are now in Florida, we're offering bus tours, we're offering management through JKJCT Florida Management LLC. 
So this is a short-term rental value-add investment opportunity. So how do we do this? We are drawing in from all the technologies in the short-term rental space from our experience over the years. We've been managing short-term rentals in Canada and the U.S. for four years now. And this time, we are going luxury. We are going top 1% of the market for you to make sure that we get that cash flow. So how are we hitting the 1% of the market? By providing experiences so guests will always remember the magical time that they had at Disney, at Universal, in our properties. I'm sitting right now in a pirate house, okay? Um, you probably saw it come by a couple of times. I'm actually leaving in two days. It's going to be very sad, but it's beautiful. We're offering wonderful accommodations, and we are going to be showcasing them to you. So as I mentioned, we've managed in Ottawa and Montreal and Toronto. We also manage in Cleveland, Ohio. And now for the very first time, we are managing in Florida and we're starting with our very own and the lucky participants who were on our, our first bus tour. There's already five properties in the works from our bus tour participants. It is amazing. They're gonna blow it out of the park. So some numbers, as I mentioned, you have some properties in my zip code right now with properties like I just showed you that are generating a million dollars a year, okay? These are the top performers in this area, a million dollars a year, but these are nice properties, right? These are really, but there's a market for it, right? This is the property that we are buying. It's a seven bedroom, five bathroom for just under $700,000 and we're going to make it next level. We are not going to be average. We're not gonna get 89,000 a year. We are aiming for 150. That is the target. And if we can do better, well, watch us do better. It's going to be epic. All right. If we dial it in and we look at properties that really are comparable to the one we're buying, here's a seven bedroom, six bath property that sleeps 14. Does that ring a bell? They are going above and beyond. Look how they painted and themed this property to be a jungle book property. This property is making $450 thousand dollars a year every night it gets booked on average is two thousand seven hundred dollars can you imagine right this is what we are targeting this type of property this type of product and experience now i'm being very conservative i just want a third of this but imagine if we and when we get to this level of income but there are other ones right that are um you know two hundred seventy five thousand right? Not even looking, looking for half of that, right? We just want to be in the top 1%. And there's a lot of room in that top 1% for even more than 150,000 a year. Keep in mind, everything you make over that baseline, you know, 60, $70,000 of expenses is cash flow, right? So you want to push the top end up as hard as you can. So we are bringing the turnkey element to you. We have teams that are going to theme the property to put it in the top percent, and we are going to manage these properties. We're the ones who are going to be talking with the guests 24-7. We have our teams of VAs on that. We're going to host on multiple channels if we need the additional exposure. We have the expensive property management softwares to handle multi- and cross-channel bookings, calendar management, price optimization. We're not just going to keep it a flat fee of $1,000 a night. It's going to vary up and down based on season, demand, um, marketing campaigns, et cetera. We're paying for all those things for you. It's all included in our management uh, percentage. Uh, we handle interior design and theming. As I mentioned, the photography to list and market the property. We are going to have 24 hours and automated check-ins and checkouts to handle uh, quick turnovers of our guests. Someone checks out at 10 or 11 in the morning, someone checks in at 3 p.m. and we roll the, the bookings and so we don't have any orphan days, vacancies as much as possible. We're going to coordinate and handle the housekeeping. We're going to hire in-house our own cleaning employees and staff. Same thing with on-call maintenance guys. We're going to advise you and in some cases pay for your short-term rental insurance premiums. How epic is that going to be? We are going above and beyond. You want this big arcade, oversized arcade in the garage? We can do that for you. Let's bring it to the 1%. What's your idea? What's your vision as for an experience to bring to these, um, these luxury clients of ours? As I mentioned, we pay for the data. We pay for these softwares. And so if you have a property that you're considering, let us do 
the numbers, right? You know me, I'm a numbers guy. So you can be sure I ran the numbers on these markets. And if you want to see those reports yourself and not pay the hundreds of dollars a month to be part of these subscriptions, just send us an email, let us help you, let us recommend and guide you through the process to buy with as little of your own money, as little as your own liquidity as possible and reach those massive cash flows with our help, of course. And these are short-term rental properties in proximity to Disney in Florida. Maybe you, your family, your friends, your loved ones would like to enjoy the property once in a while. This is not a long-term tenant that you have to kick out. This is short-term. You can toggle investment lifestyle at any point you want. Yes, it's going to affect the income you earn, but you get the lifestyle, the benefits, and the enjoyment of the property as well. If you're making $60,000 a year in, in cash flow, you know, is it going to hurt so much to take one week and use it yourself and have an epic, epic week with your family and friends? The choice is yours. You can have it pure investment or toggle between investment and lifestyle. So, the secret is out. You can do long-term rentals and not cash flow in this market. You can be an amateur short-term rental app, uh, offer something average and be bad, bad or average on the management and barely cash flow at all. Or you can go all out with professionally managed short-term rentals and get epic results. Like I said, we've done the due diligence. This is an A plus short-term rental market. The investability is a hundred. It is the place to invest. These are all people who are already doing this, but 99% of people are not in the 1% and they are barely cash flowing. But there are some people who are lining their pockets heavily. We can go macro, we can go extremely micro into this and into the data. We want, we will be, and we are in the 1%, right? So where the average person might be hitting 50 and 60% occupancy rates, we are basically hovering above the 90 year round. Okay, that's where the money is. And the not even the 90th percentile, the 1%, right? High occupancy, high ADR, average daily rates for maximum cash flow. So, again, baseline here, we are bringing the cash flow to you. We want you to feel the JK advantage, which is thousands of bottom line cash flow in your pocket. What are we proposing? The following timeline. Take a look at an opportunity. If you have a property or if you need help finding a property, send us an email and we'll start showing you some properties. Take a day to assess the opportunity and then we're going to send you a proposal. In the next couple of days, review it over, ask your questions, get started. As soon as you own that property, we have a two month timeline to JKFI it, right? We are going to go over the top to theme it like the pirate house that I'm sure you, you probably caught a glimpse of on Facebook, two months to completely do a property makeover, bring it to the top 1%, boom, we open the funnel, the marketing, we onboard it with our back office and our underground uh, management teams here. And with under three months, you get your first booking. We want to double to triple your net rental income in two to three months. That's our value proposition here. And the final, final cherry on the, uh, on, on the cake here is that we are a management company and all of our investors are going to be part of our management pool. And so you might have the pirate house and the other person might have the Harry Potter house or the star Wars house. Maybe when you want to go, we're booked at least four months in advance. And so maybe when you want to go, your place is booked, but you can go look in our pool of properties and see all of the other comparable properties and book another person from our community from our management pools properties and so suddenly even though this is not your property you can kind of time share it out at no extra cost and take advantage of this type of property right how awesome is that preferred access to properties under the jkjc t florida management portfolio so that's what i wanted to share with you i am super excited especially with the rsp in there that can completely bring it to a no money down deal, not touch any of your liquidity and suddenly generate $5,000 a month in passive income. Having a turnkey, you don't have to theme it, you don't have to manage the teams to theme it yourself. And the ongoing management, we've got that covered, we've had it covered for years, and now we're dialing in very niche, very specific to 25 minutes from Disney. In these 
selected gated communities that we toured over the weekend during our bus tour to bring the ultimate investment and lifestyle opportunity to you. So that's it. For those of you who are just getting started and it's like, oh my God, this is a lot. We do offer the blueprint, which is the base training on just entering the US real estate investing market. What are the basics you need to know perhaps before jumping into a more niche investment strategy. So for those of you who want the basics, and I do recommend them as well, um, go to n4t.club slash blueprint, and you can sign up to that's a full weekend event where we bring you everything you need. Uh, the financing partners, the, uh, the entity structure and asset protection partners, the, the management, of course. And we are going to, for those of you who've already been to the, the blueprint or have taken it multiple times, we are going to add a whole new elements for the RSP component. How do you use your RSPs in this, in this strategy? And how do you access these, these niche short-term rental investment properties as well? So we are going to dive even deeper during our blueprint. So we hope to see you there. We want you know, to share everything that we've learned and all the strategies and every, the trials and errors and just give you what works from day one so you can live the lifestyle you deserve. So if you have a deal in Florida, if you'd like uh, for me to showcase on our deal reveal, just send it my way. If you'd like to be given opportunities, send us an email, go to our website, let us know what you're looking for, what you think is a, a good fit. One of our team members is going to be paired up with you and we will, as much as we can, handhold you through the steps and offer you that turnkey opportunity for cash flow. So Shrag, yes, you're interested in the Florida opportunity. Let me know the next steps. There it is, right? There are the next steps. Just send us an email. Let us know where you're at, how quick you want to move, and we'll, we'll help you get there. Our team is ready to pick up the phone, answer those emails for you. And when is the next master class? It is going to be next month in March, so less than a month away. Very, very shortly, you are going to be seeing a whole bunch of Facebook uh, pop-ups um, telling you, come on down. It's going to be epic. We're going to show all these things, but you can basically uh, secure your spot early if you book right now n4t.club slash blueprint. It's never going to be, it will never have been this big and it's only going to get bigger. We're super, super excited. So end of March is when the, the next masterclass blueprint is going to be. We hope to see you there. And remember, this is your time to do now for tomorrow. Take care, everyone, and have a great evening.